Good morning, today is Friday, <laughs> finally. I am getting ready to go do my presentation for conference. Later today, I'm gonna be working on my research. I'm gonna have lunch with one of our new prospective faculty members. So it's gonna be a little bit of a busy day, but thankfully it's Friday and maybe I can get out of here a little bit early today. Here we are. So here is the setup. I have to get these computers running and present. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet, they settle down beneath my feet. I've got it right and I've got it wrong. We are going to do a scan. A decabulation scan. Well, Ooh, that's so exciting. <laughs> These are the good days when Calvin and I can spend time together. And work together like first year. Like first year. <laughs> But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this patient that is on ECMO can handle coming off of ECMO by looking at their heart squeeze, which is pretty cool to see. So we're gonna do that now. Good All right, job. Pauline. You were successful. You did a good I job. Have a <laughs> Our patient did well. Yay. And we're so happy. We're happy. Mm -hmm. It's almost lunchtime too, so that's why we're happy. Is it? Is it? <laughs> yeah, what it's, is it? it's all, almost 11.30. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we're gonna go for the lunch in the patio. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're all done with the imaging. Basically, just kind of putting this in perspective. So when somebody has to go on ECMO, it's usually because their heart or lungs are not functioning and there's two types of ECMO so one type where you just take the pressure off of the lungs and you let the machine do all of the work or you can have the second form of ECMO which our patient had which takes the pressure off of both the heart and the lungs so when they're on the full support of the machine we want to know as we're taking them off will their heart kind of kick back into action and start functioning on its own so essentially that's what we were doing is we were uh, using the echo machine to look at the heart squeeze and then as we were kind of weaning the uh, amount of support that the machine was giving we were looking in, in different times to see that the heart was still uh, doing its job so it was which is good news the only thing is our patient from a lung perspective is probably not ready to come off of the machine just yet i know the icu team has a plan for that and hopefully we can get a patient off of the machine and then we can start working on getting them better to be completely off support but that that takes a long time typically at least a few days can take a week or so if everything goes well so that's always good to see as a fellow and then an added layer to this was that our patient has a pacemaker the pacemaker needed some adjusting so we got our electrophysiologist to come and uh, double check the pacemaker for us to make sure that we're getting a good heart squeeze and that you know the rhythm of the heart is basically helping with the rest of the circulation so that's just a little bit of an overview it's nice to have like extra time sometimes like where i don't have to necessarily be somewhere doing something because if something cool happens or if there's like a learning opportunity for me i can easily just like go over there and observe and to soak up those teaching moments because it's not every day that we have a patient on ECMO, so you kind of have to make the best of the opportunities that we have. I think that's it for the morning. We're going to head to lunch soon and meet our new candidate for the department that might be potentially joining the group. So that should be fun. And then this afternoon, I'll be working a little bit more on my research and <laughs> hopefully get all of that done today because I just like, I wanna get it out of the way. <laughs> it's been on my mind and there's been so many things happening, but I will, I will make some progress and you guys are here to hold me accountable. So we'll see ya. All right, so finished up lunch and I felt a little bit tired. So I went to get some more coffee. <laughs>
All right, so I decided to leave work a little bit early. I usually stay until like four, but I wanted to get through the traffic uh, today to get to the pharmacy. So this is what happens when you are on a research rotation. <laughs> you remember that you're human and that you also have needs and that you have to do your due diligence and pick up your necessities. So I'm um, heading into the pharmacy right now and picking up a few things because I've just neglected so many things 